Hey guys, it's Special K. This is Nightmare Void Rift Phase 2. This is the Crimson Star version. Now, I don't want to give anyone the illusion that I'm doing this live. This is all pre-recorded. A lot of these took me a lot of time to get right. For this first one here, we're going to put Brokeer down. I'm going to bring Hex. Just looking for strong single target ma magic dealer there. Whoever it could be. It could be Azoth or whoever works for you. Gonna have Silas facing down. And when those healers come in, he's gonna knock them off right away. You'll see it right here. Dropping Vortex for healing. Procure's gonna need a lot of healing here. Uh, this, these guys don't hit that hard, but these ones up here hit like trucks. Like they hit Procure for almost three quarters of his of his health. I can bring in Vierna, and one of the things Vierna brings is defense reduction. Um, I'm going to put Setrum up at the top. He's going to take care of these guys. Uh, hit some really hard. He'll take a couple of knocks before we get Hollow down, but uh, he'll still be fine. He'll get through just fine. Now, with these ads coming down, as soon as you hit them, they're going to speed up. So that's why we don't have anyone facing up, bringing all three of them at the same time. It would be tragic if they did. So you can see how hard he's getting hit. Thankfully, they're super slow. Hex also brings that slow and that stun, um, which is a big help here. And he hits for 300k, which helps too. Silas is going to take care of these healers. Got another ad walking slowly down. Uh, this time we get two of these mages, and these mages these mages hit hard. So I'm gonna alt with Silas. That's gonna knock down, knock them down really quick. But you can see just how heavy. I mean, Brokeer's in, in in real trouble if Vortex isn't there to heal him up. Um, yeah, he's got a lot of shield, but. Um, it, it isn't even enough at times. Or the same, we got a mage up top, a healer coming in. See, look at him, he's he's right there. And he actually does he go in? No, he doesn't go in. Now alt with hex, try to get rid of them. We're at 17 out of 27. Here, I'm, I'm just, I want to make sure I knock, knock that guy out as fast as possible. And we got three mages coming. So you know what I'm going to do. I'm going to ult with Cetrum. Just knock everybody down. Now we're getting really close. But this is where it gets hard. Those two are down. And we've just got a few more ads to deal with, and then we're good. But what you'll notice is all four of these guys start moving at the same time. That's big trouble. Uh, X is all is coming back up, which is a huge help. As soon as it goes, we pop it. Try and get rid of these guys before these guys come down, because that's a world of hurt if they all come at the same time. You see, Brokir died. I throw Oleg down. Uh, that's why I had him held in reserve, just in case. Knock that guy down. Here in his ult.
just barely going to make it through. And there it is. Just, just barely made it through. If I hadn't held back Oleg, wouldn't have made it. I tried it with Oleg in there to begin with. He didn't have enough to keep going. So, Hex does huge damage, uh, and Cetra comes in too. This one took me a long time to figure out. There's actually a trick here. I had Hex pointing up, figuring he can help up here and it would be a good thing. It's not. With the way these guys kind of slowly lumber in, you've got to keep moving them faster so that they're not piling up. Uh, you know, so that because the the first time that hits them, they're going to start rushing up. And I got enough going on up here that I don't I don't have to worry about it really. I don't need the extra little help that that Hex is bringing. You see how he starts speeding up, and it makes all this space in between. Okay. Because we're going to focus on this guy until he's dead, and then Hex will go back and hit this guy over here. We don't have to worry about the healers healing up down here. These guys don't have any hits on them. Um, so that's all good. These flying ads are going to start coming out, these crimson guards. If you let these guys attack, they will just destroy the um, pedestal, the, any of the, the targets where you're at. Uh, where your champs are. So you got to get rid of them as fast as possible. Luckily, I've got Cetrum over here. I've got a uh, I've got Brienne who's amazing against air ads obviously cuz she's a GR3 goddess. I throw in Araka just to help and you can see that down here Hex and Vierna are doing a just a fine job. Speed this guy up. Got Hex's ult, but I think I'm gonna I think I hold it for what's coming next. Now six of these Crimson Guards are gonna form over here. So I fire Brienne's ult, I fire Cetrum's ult, fire Araka's ult, just to get rid of them as fast as possible so they don't corrupt these tiles, because I gotta I'm gonna have to come back over. So you can see Brienne and Araka are on cooldown. We've got Hex and Vierna ready to go. This is kind of just more of the same. Uh, we got more of these healers coming down. Cetrum's going to do a Great job of taking care of him. Oh, he's got a little ADHD. He wants to come over here and help. Even though it's way out of his range. There's that. Brienne's up. So we're going to put her up. Araka's up. Same thing. Okay, because that same thing, we're going to get some Crimson Guards that pop out, and then we're going to get the big volley of them. We're going to get the six Crimson Guards that come out at the same time. Um... You can see here how close these two are. When I had Hex pointing up, they just came and they overpowered Brook here. They made it so that he they were hitting him too hard and Vortex couldn't heal him in time. This way, we hit him once, they sp he speeds up. You can see how the distance changes here. And that's the, that's the difference between a, a victory and a failed run. So we got those two Crimson Guards down here. The next one's going to be six of them up here. There you go. See it. Now we can bring him in because that, that last one had died. There's that. Here comes those Crimson Guards. So as soon as they all spawn in, I'm going to alt with everybody over here. Alt with Brienne. Alt with Silas. Alt with Araka. just to take care of them before they really mess up anything else. You can see we're at 26 out of 31, 27 out of 31. So we've got this last big guy, two healers, and that's it. This is just clean up now. 
Hex is amazing for this. Uh, I, I assume Comet would probably be great too, uh, but he's getting, I believe, an Infernal Lord bonus. All right, so we're going to get Brook here down. He's going to block the portal. X on the pedestal. Facing left. We're just waiting for Setram to come up. Setram's going to do a lot of work because he's going to cover both of these portals on the right-hand side. He's going to do a lot of work. He's going to take a lot of heat off of Vierna, too, who's going to be right in front of Hex, right to the left of Hex. Vortex for the heels. Fire off Hex's ult. And you can see they just, they, they, they hit Brook here for 80% of what it, of his HP. I'm gonna put Brienne over here on the left. She's going to cover the aerial ads that come in and the uh, healers that come in from the left-hand side. Vierna pointing down. She's going to, she, her job's kind of twofold. She's going to help out with these big giant ads and she's also going to help out with these mages. Because these mages, if you leave them be, they can wreck you. Put Silas right next to Setrum, facing the same way as Brienne, just to help out. Does she need it? Probably not. But not bad to have, just in case. And see, I'm trying to figure out where to put Araka. We get a few of those mages coming in. But such a Vier to make sure work of them. I put Araka here just, just for a little extra DPS on these mages. Everywhere else is pretty much covered. Uh, you know, Brienne's got this side on lock. Setrum's doing a great job over here, and Hex and Vierna are doing a great job up top, so a little extra help there isn't bad. You can see we get a, a few of the Crimson Guards coming in all at the same time. Brienne takes great care of them. Super easy. Some more mages coming in. And one of the things, I mean, Iraq is disposable in this, so it doesn't hurt to have someone who, you know, can be the target for those mages and just take the hit. And if she dies, she dies. The run's not going to suffer for it. I'm going to ult with Satram, uh, Silas, just to get rid of that guy. So we're 22, 27, we're just starting to clean up. Uh, there are a couple more big guys coming, a couple more mages coming. So this is it, this is all the ads we're gonna see. There's no one healing Araka, so she, ends up dying and she brings Setrum with her. If I had to do it over, I'd probably move her up one so that she could cover uh she could be covered on Vortex's healing. You can see here they've gotten through broke here. I got just lucky enough that my DPS up top took care of it. All right, for fight four, this is the boss fight. This is monstrously hard. This took me a long, long time to get right.
So I've got Dolores, Cetram, and Comet on this little bottom pedestal. Salazar's going in front of them. Um, and I'm going to let these ads just run all the way back to the portal. And I'll, I'll deal with them there. And I put Brokir down. We'll give him some healing with Vortex and bring Hex in as a DPS over here because he's going to take care of those guys just great. Now the boss comes in. Boss is going to do a wipe of everything in this the area by him. So if we put anyone on this pe this pedestal with two, they're dead. Put Silas on the back of the the pedestal, the you know the top side of the pedestal, and that's going to make it so that when he does this move right here, that would wipe Silas out if he was in this in the front pedestal. Lay hex down so that he can start taking care of these guys over here. Now I'm going to alt with Dolores, alt with Cetrim, alt with Silas, alt with Comet, and just race the boss to try and beat him. He's going to do another move. He's going to wipe out Dolores. But we've got enough damage that we can just make it. Silas goes, uh, Salazar goes down. Boss is at 1%. Eight, it's literally just racing. There we go. And he's beat. All that's left now is the ads. Okay. We're going to clear everybody out on this left hand side so that we can use them over here on the right. I'm going to speed up this part of the run just because there's a lot of waiting for these guys to come back. There's a lot of waiting for the, uh, for the ads to build up, to come up. All right, everybody's starting to come up. So I laid Dolores. I lay Comet facing right so that he can focus on the on whoever's attacking Broke here. You see, I'm waiting. I don't want to lay Silas and have this guy start speeding up. So if I can deal with this guy by himself, I will. I'm going to lay Silas facing up. And Silas's role is really just to tank the, just to, to take down the healers that are going to come. Because if you don't put him here, you're going to end up with one of the big guys in front of Brokir and the, he'll be healing him. And that's, that's not good. That's a bad. At this point, I just throw Cetrim in because more DPS is great. Um, he's also going to help with those pesky ads that come in, these guys here, these healers. But you see, I mean, they heal, they heal for 480,000. So it's almost impossible to hit these big guys while there's healers out. So Cetrim and Silas are working together. Get that done. Rokir died. But we're in a race right now. Thankfully, there's a big, long pause in the middle of this. Because without this long pause, I don't complete this run. A few moments later. And you can see right as they, those next ads come, Rokir comes back up just in time. And I've got Dolores' and Hex's alts ready to go. Fire off Cetrum, who starts taking down those ads, thankfully. I've ulted with Dolores. I ult with Hex. She takes care of it. 
This last guy comes out and it's done. That's the end of the run. So that's phase two of Nightmare Void Rift. This is the Crimson Star phase. This was by far the hardest thing I've done in this game so far. Um, harder than 917. Harder than, than just about anything in the game. I'm going to collect those last rewards, move on to phase three. I hope you'll check it out. I hope it helps. See you on the next one.